Welcome to the new episode of It's a Smartphone. Don't use it like a dumb phone. So one of the main reasons for doing this how-to series on Windows phones is for newbies, new users who are coming into Windows phone in a lot of the countries as it takes up momentum to figure out how to do things very simply and to know some of the features which they may not even be aware of. And that is often the case with a lot of these smartphones. There's so many features plugged into this and oftentimes we don't even know what really it's capable of. So this is a very simple how-to series. Today, I'm going to start off showing you how to set up internet sharing. On the new version of the Windows Phone 8.1 update, there's a new feature that has been introduced, which is the Notification Plus Action Center. The way that you get to the notifications is by swiping down from the top. And all your app's notifications would show up as a list in one place, one consolidated notification center. So that is one very helpful feature. And the other part that you have is the action center, where at the top you have the menus for different shortcuts for different actions that you might want to take. So one of the things that I'm going to do today is to reuse one of these shortcuts and instead make it customized for my internet sharing purpose, which I actually use pretty often. So we have the airplane mode. I'm not a frequent traveler and I don't really need the airplane mode on a frequent basis. The quiet hours doesn't also come to be much useful to me. So how about I recycle one of those? You can press the all settings and it'll take you to the settings menu where you want to look for the notification plus action center, as I mentioned. So the notifications plus actions menu is right over there. We click that. And as you can see, the shortcuts that we just saw out there are listed over here. All you have to do to change one of those shortcuts and use it for some other purpose is click on the shortcut. I'm going to be recycling the uh, quiet hours for now. I have a trip coming up shortly, so I'll leave the airplane mode for now. And I take the quiet hours and instead I want to change it to internet sharing. And it's as simple as that. That has been done. The other function that we want to do is of course set up internet sharing before we can start using it. Setting up internet sharing would only be a one-time action. Once it's set up, uh, you have your device and you have password set up, you can constantly use it by accessing it from the notification center. And I'll show you how to do that very shortly. Let's go into internet sharing. And what we want to do is to set up internet sharing. Do we want to do it first of all over Wi-Fi? or over Bluetooth. This again is a new feature in a Windows Phone 8.1 that you can share your internet sharing over Bluetooth uh, or you can share it as a Wi-Fi access point. And I can now create a Wi-Fi access point over here. I've already done that for my phone called WFablet. Well, that's a six inch 30 and 20 uh, to use the misnomer phablet over here. So I called it my Windows phablet just for me. And I set up a password for now so I'm not going to enable the Wi-Fi internet sharing from here. We want to do it on an easy basis right from the notification center. So I bring the notification center and you see my quiet hours has been replaced by internet sharing. I just do click on internet sharing and it's enabled. Bingo. You're all good to go. You can now tether your tablet to the Wi-Fi access point, which is going to show up as WFablet. Put in the password, Lone Wolf in this case. Of course, please use your own secure password. It's, this is not a very secure one. And you should be good to go. And of course, Windows Phone has this very useful feature that if you do not use the Wi-Fi for a limited amount of time, it is going to shut off automatically. So all you have to do the next time is come back and re-enable that once it has been shut off. As simple as that. Thank you for watching the episode. And I hope this helps you in making more use of your smartphone as a smartphone. Don't use it like a dumb phone.